How do archaeologists decide where to start excavating? If you're looking at an archaeological excavation, it can be a little bit confusing to understand why did they decide to start digging here, and when they picked this site, how did they pick the specific areas for the squares that they have? One of the most common methods to identify a site for excavation is a surface survey. This is where individuals will go out and simply walk over an area to identify, based on what's on the ground, what might have been here in the past. You'll be surprised how many pieces of pottery are simply lying on the surface of the earth that give us an insight into what might have been here in the past and the types of periods that might be associated with past habitations. Before you even put a shovel into the ground or a pick or move any dirt, you can have a surprising idea of what might have been happening here. Other tools that can help you before excavation start are things like ground penetrating radar, LIDAR, and aerial photography. Things that help us see what our eyes can't. Because sometimes, something is screaming out to us that we can't see standing on the ground, but pops out when you're looking at it from above. Or ground penetrating radar can tell you that there is a wall just a couple feet below where you're standing that you'd have no idea. All of this takes place before an excavation begins because there's a lot of paperwork that has to happen and permits that have to be given before excavations can start. You can't just go out and start digging anywhere. You have to say why you're gonna dig, where you will dig, what the purpose of your excavation is, what you hope to find. There's lots of back work that happens before any dirt is ever moved. And that's why picking the site is really important. Because once you have a site, you still have to decide where to start putting down squares. That's where more of the information from something like ground penetrating radar or the aerial photography can be helpful. Because if you can see a defining characteristic or a wall, that can give you an area to start. Otherwise, you might be picking sites at random. Another thing that can come in handy, depending on the area and the period of the site, is something like oral tradition or written materials. Is there anything that can give us information about what is remembered about this place? All of these small pieces and others come together to help inform archaeologists of where they're gonna start digging.